I am ready to go over with you how to pick your first travel credit card. It is such an amazing step in the journey of a lifelong traveler, and I'm so happy that I can share what I've learned. Disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. All info given is from my personal experience, and this is not a sponsored video. So first things first is you want to decide what type of travel credit card you want. You have two general options when choosing a travel credit card. The first is choosing a branded card. And a branded card is one like the Southwest Airlines credit card, or the World of Hyatt credit card, or a Marriott credit card, or American Airlines, Delta, you name it. These credit cards partner with a credit card company to give their customers a card that will give them constant perks when booking with them. And you can also use those type of credit cards in other places, but they're typically great for people who know what they like when they travel. So if you're someone who knows that you love World of Hyatt Hotels, whenever you travel, your first pick when you're thinking of where you wanna go is a Hyatt Hotel, then a Hyatt credit card will be great for you because you have become a loyal member. You know that you're gonna go up the ranks in their loyalty program. So you're gonna get double the perks, right? You're gonna get your credit card perks and then you're gonna get your loyalty member perks. So I I recommend a branded credit card if you know that you love the company, you want to continue support supporting them and shopping with them. If you're someone like me, I like variety, I'm a little indecisive, I'm not always really sure which way I want to go, but I know I want those perks, then I would recommend a general credit card. Whether it's the Capital One, American Express, Chase Sapphire Preferred, they're general. So they're not tied to a specific brand and they actually partner with a variety of different travel brands such as hotels and rental car companies and airlines so that they can give their customers a variety of travel partners to work with. The second step when picking a travel credit card is to look for an amazing sign up bonus, okay? A sign up bonus is something like you'll get 60,000 points if you spend $4,000 within the first three months of signing up for your credit card. And you know how you do that? You pay for things that you're gonna pay for anyway, and you put them on your credit card, but you have to pay it off immediately so you don't get charged any interest, right? So for example, if you know you gotta spend $4,000 in the first three months, you can go ahead and pay your rent on that credit card. Ka-ching! You can go ahead and pay your car note on that credit card. Ka-ching! These are purchases that you're gonna make anyway. So you have to look for that when you are applying for travel credit cards. They will tell you right there what the sign up bonus is. The third thing that you want to look for is what type of rewards and points do you get? So you wanna get a travel credit card that's gonna benefit your lifestyle, right? So you know you're gonna shop at certain places and you're gonna spend on certain things. So for me, a great travel credit card would be one that's gonna give me more points for every dollar I spend on dining. Cause I'm gonna eat out anyway. I'm gonna eat out with or without the travel credit card. But if I use my travel credit card to pay for things like going to the Cheesecake Factory, right? I'm gonna get more points for dining out using my travel credit card. It's amazing, right? Like you're getting points for spending money that you're gonna spend anyway, and then you get to use your points as money to do things like travel. I mean, how amazing is that? The fourth thing that you want to consider when looking for a travel credit card is considering your credit score. When you apply for a travel credit card, they're going to run your credit score to determine if you're eligible for the card. Generally, the credit card company will set a certain minimum credit score for you to have in order to get approved for the card. But it is possible for you to qualify with a lower score or even be rejected with a higher score. But to improve your odds of being approved, aim to have a score above the minimum requirement. And most of these cards websites will have what that range is and a good website for this is something like credit karma because they will recommend cards to you based on what your credit score is so i would say you know go for those cards that recommend for you or you know that you know you are likely to get you can work your way up to cards that require a higher credit score than what you have because you're going to pay that credit card off Yep, we speaking it into existence and that is going to build your credit. So therefore, you will be able to apply for other credit cards later in the game once you build your credit up. 
Hey y'all, it's your girl Mignon. Thank you so much for checking out this video. I really hope that it was informative in getting you started on your journey to apply for a travel or points credit card. If you learned something and enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, share the video with someone else who may need it, and subscribe to my channel for more travel content and travel inspiration. I hope that you have an amazing day. Before you go, check out the links below because I included some websites that helped me on my journey when applying for my first points credit card. Again, have an amazing day. I'm Mignon. Enjoy.